Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube and thank you guys so much for your continued love and support here on this channel as well as my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess. I truly appreciate you guys um, so much um, and for all of the beautiful comments, likes, likes, likes and subscribes um, that you guys are helping to kind of uh, grow our little community here. So today's pick a card reading, we are looking into where will you live next? Okay, so those of you that might be kind of contemplating a move, um, thinking about some type of change of scenery or wanting to purchase a home, wanting to relocate. So we're going to be trying to get as much information as spirit can give to us about where will you live next. So we do have uh, three different piles here for you guys to choose um, and I want to say that you know you may have different ideas in mind about where you want to move so you may feel drawn to more than one pile um, to kind of see what is coming through there okay so where will you live next pile number one you are going to be this card here card number 14 that says Heather which is the name of this little flower here and that is going to be with this amethyst uh, crystal. That's pile one with Heather and the amethyst. And then pile number two, you are going to be this card here, which is says impatience, impatience, um, number 18. And then we have that with this uh, pink agate. Okay, and that is for pile number two. And then pile number three, we have Gentian, which is number 12, and that is with this little amethyst heart crystal for pile number three. Okay, so pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the artwork on the cards or the crystals, maybe a specific number that you feel drawn to. We've got 14, 18, and 12. So go with what your gut feeling is uh, telling you to do today for this reading. So where will you live next? Timestamps will be down below. Pause the video if you need more time and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pal one. So those of you that resonated with this card here, card number 14, Heather. And the little amethyst uh, crystal here. This is going to be a reading. So I'm going to put your crystal up there. Now for this card, what I'm getting already is that uh, for you, as far as where the next place you will live, the energy that's coming through with this card is more so about calm, peace, quiet. So many of you, this could be living in a place that is in a, maybe say a more remote area or where there's not a lot of people. Um, now this can be like, you know, escaping into the mountains, the forest, the hills, something that's a little bit more secluded um, is really what this is. Something that allows you to kind of have peace of mind, calm, quiet. So it may even be something that's kind of like away from a city. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's a very small uh, town where there is not a lot of people here. But the main focus of this is somewhere that is peaceful, calm. Um, also kind of maybe has a lot of silence. So this would be maybe the only real noise that you might hear is nature, you know, like animals, uh, birds, uh, things of that nature, just kind of a place where you can, you know, maybe it's something that has like a very nice garden area or something that you can just kind of retreat to and go outside and just kind of relax and not hear a bunch of you know, like loud music and cars and buses and trains and, you know, all of that noise. It's like this place is something that just allows you to, and I'm seeing mountains right now. For some of you, I'm seeing, and it doesn't mean that you live. For some of you, yes, it could be moving to the mountains. I am seeing mountains that are capped in snow. So some of you could literally be going to a place that has mountains as scenery you know, even if you're not living up in that elevation, but you have like visualization of mountains that are capped in snow. There's a lot of nature. Um, some of you can even be like a quiet cul-de-sac type of street. Um, 
what else am I seeing here? Spirit's also showing me like, uh, like trails, like trails, like maybe if you're, if you like hiking, uh, things like that. I'm also seeing a, like a body of water, something that the water is still. So this makes me almost feel like it's a lake, some kind of a lake here, maybe even near water. Maybe for some of you, if it's like near a, a beach or something like that, it's, it's something that's just very soothing very calming something that really kind of like feeds your your soul in a sense like when you're there it's like you just feel so calm and so relaxed it's just a very tranquil peaceful uh type of energy okay so we're going to see what else comes through with your tarot but that's just generally what i'm getting from this also this is card number 14 and 14 is the temperance card uh, within the tarot. And temperance is about equilibrium, balance, harmony. So I am feeling that it is also something that is very uh, uh, peaceful, but healing, which makes me feel like it's, it's very close to nature. It's a very healing, tranquil type of energy and vibe. Like even if you're like you have neighbors it's like the neighbors are all kind of like supportive of that type of beautiful, tranquil, peaceful, naturey kind of vibe and living. People that are very like-minded, I feel like, around you. Okay, let's see here. Tile number one. I'm feeling there's something about it that's also very spiritual. I'm seeing a... Almost looks like a, like Spirit's showing me a, a deity. Like there's a... I don't know if it's like a sculpture or a statue. So it's something that's very like maybe even like a spiritual community. Or people that are very... Maybe even into spirituality or spirit, certain spiritual practices, you know, meditative. Okay. Let's see. Pile number one. Where will pile number one live next? So if you're already kind of like thinking with this, this coming through, you're like, no, that's not my cup of tea at all. Then you might want to choose a different pile. Um, but this is like away from people, just quiet, calm, peaceful, relaxed, restorative, healing. No noise, like just very calm. You could just like hear nature and you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Pile number one. Where will pile one live next? We have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, let's see. Where will pile number one live next? Wow, Four of Wands. Temperance. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Temperance and the four of wands. Wow. And then even in this four of wands card, look at how there's all these beautiful flowers. I don't know. It just makes me feel like there's, um, with the four, the four of wands card is talking about like a celebration. Um, Maybe this could be events where families come together, friends come together that have parties, celebrations. It could even be that the next place that you live is maybe something like, say, where your family, your family goes there to relax, to vacation or to have a good time. The Four of Wands is also a card of stability, of a, a strong, firm foundation 
Some of you, I'm getting that this house or this home is something that is very unique, something maybe even about the architecture. Some of you, this is like a dream, a dream. Like this is something that you've always wanted was something like this. Maybe even kind of feeling, did you ever have the confidence to kind of think that this was something that was possible for you? Some of you will be having a new baby or even a pregnancy with this new move or this new home. Okay, I'm getting that for some of you. Um, this could even be weddings, engagements, proposals, getting married in this home. meeting, you know, connecting uh, with someone who you meet even maybe moving to this new place, like if you're single and you're moving to this new place, it could be that you do meet this person in this community. I'm feeling that there is, although this is a place that's very peaceful and calm, it is a place that community is something that's very important. It's kind of like everybody might like know each other. There's strong bonds connections between people i'm also hearing music but it's like music that's not like loud and obnoxious music but like something that's very like people are having a good time it's just very restorative beautiful some of you might have like a garden in the back of the house or like even on a front patio some of you i'm looking at how in this four of wands here there's a bunch of strings with lights some of you might have like those like a little backyard that has the lights that are strung, like in the backyard. Perfect place for like parties, events. People want to come here to your house, to your home. The way that you decorate it is something that is just so beautiful, so stunning about it. Like other people that might come and come over and visit, they're just like taken back by the beauty of the way that you created the space here that like when people come in they're just like what they say is like oh my goodness it feels like so nice in here or it smells nice it smells good it it feels good in here it's kind of like you're you're some of you could be like bringing a lot of out the outside in maybe even with your decor like the use of maybe natural type of uh stuff like like let's just say if you have a house by the beach and you have like a lot of um, uh, shells and star, you know, starfish and uh, you know, like beautiful stuff that you're bringing from the outside in. Or even like if you live up in the mountains, that you bring like pine cones and fresh firewood, um, you know, something that is kind of like keeping you in that connection that's very close to nature. That not only is it being reflected outside, like when you look out the window, but it's also something that's like the inside of it matches what, like the natural setting, the environment that's surrounding you is what I'm seeing there. Yeah. And then temperance here, like I said, it's something that's very healing. There's a lot of balance, a lot of harmony uh, within the home. The energy is also something that's really beautiful. I'm feeling here as well. Some of you, this could even be like a, an older home, uh, something that has a lot of character. I'm, I'm seeing even like hardwood floors, hardwood floors, spirits showing me like a little old, what are those things called? Those little floor heater things like a so some of you could even be like a like an older home that was built in like 17, 1800s, maybe even for some of you like an old Victorian. Uh, for some of you, uh, some of you I'm getting that it's going to be a home that's built of like natural things. Some of you I'm getting wood or stone or bricks even. Very unique. I'm not feeling really any modern from this. I'm, I'm feeling it's a lot of like the, um, the house has a lot of character, you know, I, I don't really feel like that could be something that you're seeing in something fairly newer build. I'm feeling like this is something that has some older, you know, something that kind of picks up maybe even from a different era 
or something that's not cookie cutter. Okay, no cookie cutter houses, no, I don't think it's any subdivision, like a like every single house, every other house is the same. This is not it. It's like your house is unique, unique and beautiful. There's a lot of, yeah, even how, look at how she's standing in the water here. We have little fish here. There's shells. So some of you, like I said, it could be, I don't know, maybe something close to the beach or even in a, I don't know, maybe for some of you, it's like a private beach or something very calming and restorative for you, but very healing. I noticed that she's also got butterfly wings on here. So that can also be a place where you have a lot of growth, a lot of personal growth. Um, and I'm feeling with the seven of swords, I, this almost kind of makes me feel like there's fear here. Like some type of fear that you have. And I don't know what it is, but maybe it's about like, can I afford this? Or is this even possible for me? Is kind of what this, this feels like. So let's see what else. Where will pile number one live next? Where will pile number one live next? We have the two of wands. Wow. So in the back of her, we have, which looks like an Egyptian pyramid, but some of you, I'm almost feeling, I don't know, maybe some of you currently live in like a desert area or a really hot and dry climate. Maybe some of you are looking for an escape or even something that uh, has more greenery, more scenery. Maybe some of you could be wanting to live towards something that has more like natural things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to say that. Uh, natural beauty, like a, per a place that's like geographically beautiful in the world. Um, at the bottom down here, I'm seeing there's a bunch of little mushrooms, you know what I'm saying? And then back here, that's desert and then there's mushrooms surrounding her. So maybe some of you, it's kind of like wanting to move out of a hot, dry desert climate and into something that has more lush vegetation, forest, uh, greenery. Uh, the two of wands energy is a card of planning. So some of you might even have like two different, I are feeling torn, like say between living one destination and another destination of which to live. And I feel like they're, they might even be like complete opposites with regard to their climates may also be something there. And I'm also getting up here. I'm seeing how there's the cycles of the moon. This makes me feel like some of you are being very indecisive, <laughs> indecisive. Like your mind keeps kind of like, should I live here? Or maybe this is better. This is maybe this is going to be the better move. But what about this? Should I go over here? It's like, I feel like maybe you're kind of going back and forth with that. Maybe that's what this is. Fear of choosing or making the wrong choice. Even where will pile number one live next? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, a card of a breakthrough like if you're feeling confused or torn kind of like in different directions um then i feel like this clarity is coming through okay this clarity is coming through for you um what do we have here on one side i feel like you have what is this there's something about the direction of north for some of you. And then for others of you, I'm seeing that this could even be uh, the direction of east. So I don't know if this is northeast to where you live right now. Or if you're thinking the two different directions, like should I go north or should I head east? But those are directions that are coming in here right now. North and east. Okay, so let's see what else is here. These fell on the floor. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. 
And then the action of wands, which is the knight of wands. The seven of cups. Yeah, spirit's like, you're confused. Like, pile wands all over the place with what they want. The seven of cups is a, is a card of options, choices, and... You know, you may have like a lot of different ideas of what like the perfect house or the perfect home or, you know, where you want to be. If you look at this card here, we have, what do we have? We have something that looks like more or less like a tropical plant. Uh, there's a fish in this one. There's a skeleton in this one. There's a butterfly, a snake, mushrooms, a heart. And she looks like she's drowning in the sea of all of these ideas that are coming to her. Some of you are, are may even be thinking of going to a place that you've already lived previously. Some of you could be thinking about moving even towards ocean. This looks like ocean water with that uh, seven of cups. And those of you that are thinking ocean, this could even be like somewhere on like a, the west side, like the west coast. Like even if you live like... Um, like in the U.S., this would more or less be you choosing to kind of go to like California or uh, Oregon, uh, Washington, Oregon, Washington, California. What else is on that side? I'm not that good at <laughs> memorizing all of the exact places. I'm just feeling... With the cups energy, this is more the direction of um, west. But yeah, some of you with the seven of cups here, this is really just speaking about options, choices. Feeling confused, you could have like lots of dreams. I'm feeling for some of you though, because this is talking about where will you live next. I feel like it is what you dream, what you envision for yourself. It's going to be a dream come true for you with that. The Queen of Pentacles, I'm also feeling that this is going to create a lot of financial stability for you, security. Uh, the Knight of Wands energy here, I'm also seeing how this, there's a motorcycle here. And it's headed towards north, actually. It's headed towards north. This triangle is pointing north, okay, for some of you. Um towards the sun so wow yeah no maybe some of you are choosing you know to go and move towards a warmer client client climate climate why do I keep saying client okay well maybe that's a reason maybe there's a reason maybe you're trying to move to have more clients or to have more recognition maybe even for a business Maybe that's why I'm saying it like that. Maybe you're meant to hear it like that. Maybe it's going to bring you or give you more clients. It's going to help you to create more wealth or abundance for yourself. Maybe there's going to be more opportunities for you um, in this place financially. Let's see what else. Pile number one, where will you live next? I'm feeling some of you, this, this place is going to have a lot of windows. A lot of windows, a lot of looking at nature. And I'm having to record, re-record, I should say, some of your reading, pile one. Um, I got to this card right here, kept talking, and then the camera cut out when I looked at it. Um, but after you're, you have the uh, Knight of Pentacles here, the Sacred Masculine came out, which is the Emperor. Um, and then the Six of Wands. And what I was saying is that with the Six of Wands, this next place you're going to live is going to be a place where you receive a lot of recognition. And it could be because of the work that you do, um, or it could be that the Six of Wands, because this is also a card of a victory, a win, an accomplishment, like kind of like I've made it, I've done it. If you can look at her, she looks like she is so incredibly excited um, she looks super happy, right? So I feel like this is going to, and look at how she's just like surround, <laughs> she's covered in flowers. Um, and there's this beautiful golden yellow, um, circle that's kind of surrounding her. So yeah, for some of you, I'm feeling like it's, it's just being in nature and just feeling like this has been such an accomplishment 
with you being able to kind of make it here or making that dream come true. Uh, with the uh, sacred masculine or the emperor, I was saying that I'm noticing how there is a Native American um, here. Now, some of you, it could be that your ancestors are trying to help you to lead you towards like literally what you're meant to have, like your destiny. And I feel like your ancestors have been trying to communicate with you about where is the best move, energetically speaking, and where is going to be the place that you find and have the most, I feel like not only because is this something that's very healing and very restorative and peaceful for you but it's also something that brings in stability security abundance some of you it could be like if you especially if you own like your own business or you know you have like a specific career in mind the six of wands is also that card of you maybe being paid what you're worth you could be moving to an area that has better paying jobs or even a place where there's more growth for clients, for, you know, people uh, that are being drawn to you. Or if you, you know, move to a place that let's just say it's a little bit more remote, like you being that person in the community. You know, even if you look at this card here, you could maybe pretend saying this lady over here, she's going out for a walk. And then this lady's like, hey, aren't you so and so don't you, you know, have this talent that you do or and she's like yes I do and she's like you know what I'm saying but it's like I feel like there is recognition here of, of you for the work that you're doing but not just that it's also about you I feel like having like you deserve this pile one you deserve this and that's what I feel like with this this emperor energy now I will say some of you I feel like, and it may be more so for those that, of you that, um, like, let's just say you buy a home that is a historic home, or you buy a home that is on, uh, in a national park area, or close to nature, with the emperor energy being here, because the emperor energy is about um, order, and discipline, and... Uh, authority some of you there could be certain rules that you might have to follow kind of like what we call here in the u.s is hoa which is homeowners association where you have to pay certain fees to have your home maintained like the you know um things outside or in the community to maintain the community that you live in so let's just say if you buy a historic home that there's you have to keep up that historic home to its true character you can't do any like massive changes to update its exterior and you know what i'm saying because it's like a it's historic so and that makes me feel like there's certain rules that are here that you have to follow uh for some of you and others of you like let's just say if you go out and live live on the land or you live you know in a place where it's a natural uh national forest maybe there is certain rules like like if you live in the forest like of course you can't have like uh you have to be careful with fires right that you don't cause fires and stuff like that or you have to you know like maybe there's um you know like being careful of wildlife uh things of that nature like keeping the pre preserving the land i feel like in a way right preserving its integrity I feel like maybe something here for you too. Like in the same way that like if you live near the ocean, you wouldn't be like dumping a bunch of trash, you know, there or, you know, doing something that's going to take away from uh, the nature, the beauty, right, of, of why people choose to live where they live. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. There could be some rules, <laughs> some rules for some of you that, that might be in place, but I don't feel like it's going to be something that makes you turns you away it's, it's kind of like you respect it you know but and i'm feeling with the emperor here because you also have the four of wands this is stable right stable grounded uh energy and then after we i pulled these two i looked at the bottom of the deck and these were both there the ace of pentacles is for some of you this could be the place where you actually your next place that you live could actually be your home like you buy this home 
Um, some of you, of course, yes, it can be a rental, but some of you, I'm feeling like this excitement that you have may even be like, this is your first home. You're buying your first home. Uh, it could be with the, cause we also have the sacred feminine here, which is the Empress. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The one thing that I was also getting here is be, especially because the seven of cups is here. Some of you are like your compass is all over the place. Like literally your compass is all over, like, you know, wanting to move north. Then I'm noticing like even this Ace of Swords card, um, it's pointing south. Like the point of the sword is pointing south where this bird is, is kind of like going up. So it's almost like you're feeling torn here, I feel like for some of you. Feeling maybe even like, you know, having dreams and visions of this place and the next place and the next place. So there's clearly a decision, right? With the two of wands, there's a plan, a decision you have to make here. The seven of swords, I feel like spirit's saying, don't rush. Okay. Don't rush. Make, don't rush the decision. Take your time. But I'm feeling like where this is, like I said, it's going to be a beautiful house, very restorative, very healing. Uh, it's going to be something that brings about a lot of financial growth, wealth, uh, you may be receiving, like, say, more clients, more recognition for what you do for your work. You might be getting paid better. The Six of Wands is, is, you know, you can be receiving a promotion, a raise. You could be getting a better paying job. It could be like if you own your own business, you have more clients. People are like, wow, I want you to, you know, do this for me or that for me. And, you know, like you have more clients. So it makes you feel happy, makes you feel blessed, I feel like, within this energy. Um, what else here? Yeah, with the Empress and the Emperor, Empress, Emperor, and then you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you, like I said, it could be maybe a, a new job that you're taking could be moving you into a different place or house because the Knight of Wands is also about relocation. And I'm noticing there's a motorcycle here. So some of you, it could be that this could even be a place that's a little bit further out. Like I said, I don't think at all that this is in a major busy city. To me, this is something that's more remote. Um, it's very tranquil, close to nature is something that I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's get some oracle cards before this video gets too long. And even this, what is it? The Nurture, the Queen of Pentacles. It almost looks like there's ocean and just beautiful greenery back here, you know? So some of you can be a very coastal, beautiful place. This almost looks like, like islands or I don't know if this is like Mediterranean, Hawaiian, somewhere that is beautiful, like where you can just see the the whole vastness, maybe even of the ocean, you know, rivers, lakes, there's a, the mountain back here is covered in, in green. So some of you, I don't know if, especially if it's, there's, the sun is here. Some of you, it can even be a place that has like a more tropical climate. Okay. Tropical or some beautiful plants there. Okay, let's see. And then the Empress here is Mother Nature. This is very Earth energy here. So it's a very fertile, I feel like is the best word, fertile. It's a very fertile environment. There's a lot. Beautiful plants, trees, nature, animals, uh very fertile land. Okay, let's see what else. Where will pile number one live next? We have rosemary and it says ancient memory. Again, like I said, I'm feeling this is something that has a connection to your ancestry. I'm seeing that with the sacred masculine, the emperor. And here we've got another ancestor. So maybe this is place like a place that your ancestors have lived, walked the earth. Lived and walked the earth here. 
it's a beautiful like nature um, I'm getting a lot of that the Sun hmm okay let's see what else ancient memory hmm This makes me feel even for some of you, especially those of you that do believe in past lives, that maybe this is a place that you've lived before. So when you're in that area, like even if you go visit and vacation there, it's like you feel connected to the land. And I feel like it's many of you, be, it might be because of your ancestors. Like you feel very connected to it, to nature, to the earth. You know what I'm saying? Pile number one, where will you live next? We have chamomile. Again, look at that. Look at the nature. We've got deer here. She's laying down in the in the like in the little of a forest clearing. There's pine cones on the tree. So there may even be like a pine forest for some of you. Lots of grassy inner peace remember how i said it's going to be something very calm very restorative very peaceful you could have just animals just walking around <laughs> walking around there's a lot of energy of the sun here so it makes me feel although it could be mountain like maybe it's not super cold maybe it's like there it still gets plenty of sunshine um, we have hibiscus. Yes. This, some of you, like I said, it could be very tropical. This is like, I don't know where hibiscus grows other than, uh, Hawaii, but this could be a place, like I said, that has very lush vegetation. We've got a hummingbird here. Again, the number 14. Joy something that has a lot of maybe very tropical for some of you tropical vibe maybe close to or has a very strong like even if you're not someone who's native or indigenous but the culture in that region of where you're moving to where you're going to live is something that is rich in uh some type of indigenous culture, native culture to those lands where you live. So it's something that's just really, really beautiful. Okay, let's see. Pile number one, where will you live next? Where will pile one live next? Okay. So we have caching here, caching. And it almost looks like there's like this lots a building with lots of windows in it. But there's a bunch of clouds around it. Let's see. Maybe some of you that's uh, symbolic, maybe for some type of um, elevation. We have exposed. This makes me feel like you're out, you're out in nature. You're away from people. You're away from people. And we have influence here. Okay. So might have to cover that one up a little I'm just gonna put it this way for right now but what I'm feeling kind of like with that influence there is that for some of you it could be a place that a lot of people go to meaning that not necessarily that's that it's like a like a uh, a party place but more or less that a lot of people might travel and go to that place so you might have to 
kind of in a way make sure <laughs> that you are not really kind of I, I feel like maybe being careful because I'm seeing how how these crows are looking like they're having a real good time <laughs> a real good time um with things and so maybe there's temptation there to kind of and it could be maybe something that kind of gets you off track so I feel like maybe there's a need for kind of being careful I'm just going to cover it like that because we have influence here so yeah it just kind of makes me feel like maybe a lot of maybe people like to travel here maybe it's like a destination you know that other people like to go to to relax too you know to to kind of get away um so maybe there is temptation for you okay or maybe people that like to have party or partying too much <laughs> partying too much okay so let's see pile number one where will you live next We have, look at that, the Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsibility. So behind her, there's a bunch of rocks and the ocean kind of crashing against her, but some of you, maybe it is close to a lake. Close to a lake. We have the Shaman, and it says, Trust in higher forces. So again, I'm feeling... That this is a place that your ancestors are trying to guide you towards. But maybe there is a lot of temptation to have fun, you know. And not that having fun is a bad thing, but, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure that, like, if you're having a good time, but in moderation. Because remember that we also have the number 14 a lot here and also... Temperance. Temperance is about moderation. Okay? Moderation, balance, harmony. Because it, may, it could be very tempting. Like, let's just say you go to a place and they have, like, a lot of exciting little things to do around town. Like, you know, in town, we'll say. And it can be very easy to get caught up in that fast life. Um... So let's see here. Okay, so we have trust and then we have the arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. Okay. Surround yourself with protective energy. Trust. Like I said, remember I was saying earlier at the beginning, um, maybe for some of you kind of like trails, trails that are there. Where is pile number one moving next? We have she who listens, understanding, witness, and also compassion. So, again, to me, a place that is very connected to Mother Earth. Very connected to nature. Lots of birds, maybe even flying kind of like overhead. What is this? Mystery, revelations, discovery, secrets, and unveil. So some of you, look at that, another lake back here. I'm getting, looking at the way that she's kind of dressed too. It's like, I'm getting, for some of you, it can even be like a very, um, what is that called? Like a very like, a community in which there's a lot of people, maybe there is shamans there. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, it feels like a very spiritual energy. So this makes me feel like, like I said, some of you that are still feeling kind of torn, like where is this place going to be? That clarity is coming because we have mystery here, which means to me that in this final place or this place that you're going to hasn't been completely, completely been revealed to you yet. It could come as some type of epiphany or realization a place that you discover. Um, I would say if you feel drawn to a certain place, go there, check it out, take some time, spend the weekend. 
and see how you feel energetically because I feel like this is something that's very important for you. It's not just kind of moving any old place. It's like this place has to be the place that your soul feels at peace, right? It's not just about, oh, I'm going to move, go and move to this this place because I because it looks nice. It's like the energy there has to match for you specifically to be something because your your ancestors are trying to get you to a place of keeping you open to this flow. So that can even be keeping you away from certain places that have a negative maybe influence and trying to steer you away from that and more into something that is in alignment for you. But what I was going to say about this is it kind of makes me feel are you connected to people like around you that are kind of like the arts community, like people that are painters and mystics and healers and, you know, things of that nature. Like you fit in well, you know, with this. And this feels very spiritual in nature. So some of you can be moving. I'm getting Utah for some of you um, in the States. Uh, Pacific Northwest for some of you. Some of this can literally be like the Southwest, Southwestern states of uh, the United States. Okay, but yes, I'm feeling like you have either views of mountains, you could be living in the mountains, it's still sunny here. I'm not really seeing maybe so much snow. I mean, it still could snow because there's mountains, forests. Some of you, like I said, very lush vegetation, tropical. I'm feeling that it is warm, okay? I don't know if it's super hot and blaring hot, warm, like desert, but you never know. Some of you, like I said, she's got a pyramid in the background so some of you can maybe be moving away from a, a place that has a very hot and dry climate into something that's more like I said very fertile very lush lots of greenery lots of plants lots of animals um like I'm feeling like definitely feeling the land the earth the connection to spirit here to connection to your ancestors being something that is very important about this next place that you live. You're surrounded by your ancestors' protective energy. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here for you, Pal 1. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pal 2. So those of you that resonated with this card here and this pink agate, this is going to be our reading today. So we're finding out where will you live next. Okay, where will you live next? And I feel like kind of looking at this card here, she looks like she's kind of daydreaming, right? About where that perfect place is or where you'll find your next place. Some of you can even be choosing a place based off of maybe career work. I'm seeing how there's two little bees up here. Maybe it's something that has a good community or a nice community. Let's see. The message also with this card is spirit saying, don't rush. Don't rush. Take your time, especially if you're feeling a little bit confused right now about the where. Okay, so pile number two, where will you live next? Where will you live next? Pile number two. We have the Eight of Swords and also the Queen of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing in the bottom of this Queen of Cups card, there's a lot of very colorful fish. So maybe some of you, it's close to a body of water, maybe even the ocean, but let's see here. Where will pile number two live next? We have the six of cups. Wow. This looks like a palace back here. <laughs> it's beautiful. We have the ace of wands and also the hierophant. 
Okay. So with the Six of Cups card, I'm feeling like this will be a place that has a beautiful community. I'm feeling it's going to be something that has like this architecture, either the house that you live in or the place, the location of this place has places that look like beautiful, very, uh, what do you call that? Architecturally amazing, like, like places that, I don't know what you call this, like a temple, a, a palace, like something that looks very beautiful. I'm thinking this could be like places like India, um, places maybe in some place in Europe. Okay, that have a lot of this very rich, deep culture and beauty. I'm getting some of you, it's like uh, North Africa. North Africa. I'm seeing here there's tigers here, so this could even be places that have natural, like, mm, it kind of makes me feel like, yeah, like places that have jungles. Because I'm also seeing a little tropical flower here. But this makes me, feels like it looks like something very Moroccan or maybe a place in India. Beautiful, like uh, Europe or North Africa. Like gorgeous architecture. I'm also feeling, because we do have the Hierophant here. The Hierophant could even be that this is a place that has maybe culture, religion, spirituality, uh, tradition, maybe like a traditional type of feel. Maybe it's something that has, I don't know, maybe like a lot of sacred spiritual meaning. Uh, I'm feeling there's a richness of culture here with wherever this is, even if it's not any of the places that I've named, but if you kind of just get a feel for this beautiful area, I'm seeing back here, there's also like palm trees. So maybe this is like a desert place too. I'm noticing that there's, um, uh, it looks like a little, I don't know if this is like a little pond or a, some type of water little place in the middle of this maybe mm, I'm kind of hearing like bells like um, maybe something like where you hear, hear uh, bells ringing like in town this maybe even thinks of places like Italy Rome like places that have like a lot of beautiful beautiful architecture um, I wouldn't really say that this feels like anything in the U.S. This feels like outside of the U.S. Uh, type of energy. So this, maybe some of you, this is a very international um, place. Yeah, I don't feel like we have anything that looks like this in the U.S. This, this beautiful, and not that the U.S. isn't beautiful, but the architecture I'm feeling that, that I'm seeing here the grandness of, of the beauty of the architecture is something really amazing here. I don't know, like maybe like Bangladesh or maybe even some places in like Malaysia, where, right? Where they would also have like these animals somewhere in, in Asia. Tigers. Just really, really beautiful. But yes, I'm feeling there's going to be a strong influence of, of culture maybe even religion, prayer. I'm seeing how this, this guy here is, is praying. Maybe it's something that's a very important spiritual practice. Okay. Spirituality, maybe something that's very, um, kind of like a focal point of like society community here. Uh, very traditional. I'm even getting like places like in, uh, Egypt, Morocco, like I said, North Africa, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, like all of the, you know what I'm saying? Just very beautiful uh, places. And maybe for some of you, it is it is coastal place uh, that has an ocean, fish. We've got some little coral there. I'm feeling very spiritual place. Something that I feel like is very restorative here to kind of like calm and rest. 
the mind. Okay, calm and rest the mind. We have the Ace of Wands here. So this, to me, with the Ace of Wands, is um, it's very creative. So maybe it's something, like this next place that you live is something that inspires a lot of creativity for you. Because um, I'm even seeing down here, you have a lot of really beautiful little cups down here. Almost like they're little tea glasses or something here. Yeah, but all of those... This to me is like those uh, buildings with a lot of the pinks, pinks and oranges, uh, very Moroccan to me, but it could also be, like I said, very, uh, someplace in India or even, you know, it's kind of making me think of Dubai too, like, um, looking at the, it's almost like to me when I'm seeing this, I'm envisioning like this beautiful little place in the middle of a desert. For some of you like just something so beautiful something that inspires a lot of creative energy but i'm definitely there's going to be a heavy influence of religion culture tradition uh the six of cups energy here i'm also feeling there's going to be a very harmonious balanced energy you're going to have lots of friends many people that kind of come together maybe even for very important like celebrations uh, what is that? I can't even think of the name because it's not an English word. It's like a celebration of, and that might be like a more Indian type of festival. What is it? The colors, like where there's uh, uh, colors that are, I don't know what, what you call that. I know one of you will know what it is, but it's like that. There's paints, and what they do is they crush the flowers, I think. They crush the flowers uh, into paints, I think. Like, um, I don't know if it's like powders. And it's like, if you see what it looks like, the people look like they're covered. They're absolutely covered in, in the beautiful colors of paint. I actually think I might have that picture of that in one of the decks that I had here. But while I look for that, what I was kind of saying is that that Ace of Wands energy is going to be a lot of beautiful, creative uh, energy. It's not, I think it's the one that has the, yeah, it gives me like a lot of that. I, and I don't know what the, the, the festival is called, but it's like, there's a bunch of paint that is being kind of thrown. And when people get done after that, like after that festival, it's like, there it is. It's like all these bright colors that are just like having people having fun. And I don't know what it's called, but it's a beautiful thing. So I'm feeling like it's, there's going to be something that is traditional about this location where culture is something that is celebrated um, within the community. Let's see here, pile number two, where will you live next? International, definitely, this is not US. For some of you, I feel like you could be going abroad, living abroad. We have the Ace of Pentacles. have the six of pentacles yes religion is going to be something that's really I feel like very prominent very tied into this place where there's a lot of maybe like gurus and culture being something very very amazing some of you could be like there's views of mountains here but I'm feeling more or less that you're kind of living in a community, like a, like a, like a little city um, here. There's going to be a lot of friends to make, a lot of connections. Some of you, it could be like this move for work that you're doing. A move for work. 
I'm also getting like this community is something where a lot of people help you. There's a lot of uh, p people that are very kind, very generous. Uh, people that just, a community that just kind of supports each other, I'm feeling. Okay. Very, very supportive. Very, very nice people. Yeah. Lots of vibe of like friendship. Um, having a good time together, get togethers, parties. It's like you can like go to this place and like you can just like walk down the street and you see like little cafes, people like having tea. Like I said, I'm kind of hearing like um, bells kind of like in the distance, like from like temples and um, things of that nature. Just really, really beautiful. And I'm noticing that here in this three of cups, there's some tall buildings back here. So some of you can even be like you're in a, maybe even something, because we have this beautiful temple here or this beautiful architecture thing, but <clears throat> some of you can even be that you're living in an area that has uh, taller or higher buildings that are even a little bit more modern. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be places here that you can go to where you can just kind of like soak in all of the culture you know, all of the beauty um, that is here with this uh, place. And then we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom. So yeah, look at how there's just like all of this natural kind of architecture here. This more or less kind of, we're looking at this one here, this kind of looks like old ruins of, we've got a peacock here. This almost makes me feel like something in uh, South of, South or Central America. Okay. For some of you. Uh, just natural beauty. Like these this architecture that's just here. This makes me... Looking at these little flowers and these bowls. What is... The, I can't even remember right now. Is it called Diwali? I don't know. Like where you float, was it? I've seen, I think I've seen before on shows on TV where they kind of float flowers. But I think this was like in India, in down the Ganges. But I think there's a festival. I think it's Diwali. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is reminding me of that. A lot of those little flowers in the in the little bowls. Flowers in the bowls, but yes, we've got a lot of natural, I feel like, beauty. Like I said, some of you could be moving to a place that has maybe a little bit more modern, like a high-rise building, but uh, a place, look at that, because we have these three ladies that are here, they have teacups on their head, so it makes me feel like you can go out, you can have fun, you can have friends. Um, everybody's kind to each other, nice to each other, helping each other. The community's helping each other. Uh, what else? I'm also feeling with this Eight of Cups energy here, it could be that it is a place that kind of... I'm almost kind of feeling like it being a place that kind of helps you to kind of dig deeper within yourself. Like... It may, like, living in this place might be a place where you kind of, like, discover more about yourself. Making new friends, making new connections. Um, some of you, it can be, like, like I said, maybe going there for work, traveling for work. Uh, some of you, it's school with the Hierophant. It's school. You're going there for school, education, closer to school, studying, studying abroad. I'm getting for some of you. Hmm. It's kind of what I'm getting here. What else? <clears throat> they all look like they're dressed really nice too. And they kind of have like that Asian kind of a flare going on and their beautiful little dresses here. So maybe this is in some other type of 
Asian countries here as well. They're also sitting in these beautiful leather chairs. So it makes me feel like living here, being here, it might even be a little bit more pricier. <laughs> Maybe for some of you, like um, kind of like a beautiful experience, I feel like. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling some of you are moving there because of work. Because of work. Because of school. Um, this being something where you have a community that really is, like I said, very supportive of each other. Geographically beautiful. Lots of richness and culture. Is what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go into the oracle messages okay so pile number we have lots of hmm. where will pile number two live next where will pile number two live next? We have Ginkgo with Breakthrough. Ginkgo with Breakthrough. We also have the Rose with Love. Wow. Some of you may even be that you meet your love here. Meet your love. Meet a romantic partner here. And I'm feeling that this person is going to be someone who has a different, maybe different uh, culture. Especially for those of you that are like traveling for work or for uh, school. There could be differences in culture between you and this other person. We have Valerian with acceptance. Yeah, I'm getting for some of you, this is going to be a place that has, um, I'm, I'm just feeling beautiful views. And some of you, it's because you're in a higher rise building. And some of you, it's just like this beautiful, architecturally beautiful uh, space that your views when you look out your window is just something truly beautiful. Let's see, pile number Yeah, some of you I'm definitely feeling you're going here for like learning, studying. Pile number two. Where will you live next? We have resistance. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of buildings here. A lot of buildings. And there's this bird also. It says resistance. There's a lot of wind. Let's see. Yeah, buildings here too. Buildings and clouds. You know what I'm noticing too? Some of you maybe this the at least those of you where you chose this and you're in a building some of you this could even be like living in a place that's really cold because I'm noticing they're also wearing coats so some of you the cold and windy buildings these almost remind me of something that you would see like in uh uh like what the east coast places that have a little bit more of a cold climate which makes me feel like maybe like London or uh, places that have beautiful buildings as well but maybe for some of you the climate is a little colder windy cold windy um, I'm not getting that for all of you though some of you I'm seeing just something that is very maybe very warm very very warm maybe a little bit humid but others of you I'm seeing like cold and windy, this almost makes me feel like some of you, maybe even like Chicago or uh, what 
what is that? Like maybe Jersey something. Either way that has beautiful architecture, right? Something that has a lot of character. We also have observation here, okay? And I'm seeing with the observation, there's buildings back here. So this makes me feel like you may even be at a little bit, like I said, you could be in a high rise where you have like view of like the whole city. Um, some of you, it's maybe very cold and windy, maybe even like I said, New York. Um, London. I don't know, maybe even like Paris. Cold. Windy observation makes me feel like you have windows where you can just kind of see lots of windows, lots of clouds, lots of wind for some of you. Like you might need that coat, that furry coat. Okay, so let's see. Pile number two, where will you live next? Where will you live next? We have knowing. It says divination, converse, energy, and also free will. So I feel like maybe Spirit says you already know where this place is. Maybe your intuition has already been telling you where this next place is. And it's maybe up to you, your choice, your decision, ultimately. Because we have free will there. Maybe... If you've been asking your tarot, maybe you've been getting confirmation already with your tarot. We have she who becomes, metamorphosis, transcend, and also a journey. So maybe for some of you, it is a place that you would have to travel to, or maybe even it's a big dif distance or even a big change for you. Um, let's see what else. We have the novice, innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. Yeah, some of you I'm feeling like you're traveling or you're relocating or you're, the next place you're going to live is because you're going there for work, studying abroad, um, something of that nature. We have the Merlin, alchemy, justice, and also balance. Some of you are like manifesting this place. Maybe manifesting living in another country or like ma manifesting living in this beautiful place that you probably felt like I could never afford this place. Or is it like never going to be a dream for me to go and travel and see the sights? And I feel like it's something that's actually happening for you. Um, pile number two, where will you live next? Some of you have been saving for this we have spring here your seeds grow let's see where will pile number two live next we also have the stag trust and thrive and then we have death and this has like what like this is an ocean so like i said for some of you maybe it can be a very coastal place i am seeing some trees back here some trees back there. And then we do have little animals here. So maybe even some of you, it could be um, maybe even a place that's remotely close to nature or has some really beautiful animals even because we have a peacock here. We have a peacock. And then we have like what? A stag, a rabbit. I also saw a little rat earlier. Where is that rat? I think I saw it. <laughs> there it is right there. Okay, so yeah, some of you, yes, could be a very windy, cold climate. Um, but others of you, I'm seeing it as a place that has, like I said, just a lot of really beautiful, beautiful architecture. Um, whether or not it's in the U.S. I mean, if you know places like that in the U.S., you will have to let me know because... I don't know that we really have anything like that here unless it's like up in Canada or, you know, 
I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we have anything that looks that beautiful here in the States. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with this card here, number 12, Gentian, this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to look at where will you live next? Where will you live next? Pile number three. Where is pile number three going to live next? We have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. For some of you, especially with this card that you've chose here, I'm feeling like this is kind of something that's a little bit of a difficult decision for you to make. There's a lot of thought that's been going into this, and I kind of feel part. Some of you might even feel like you're kind of alone in your thoughts about it. And it may even be like you have ideas in mind, but you kind of feel stuck with them. You kind of feel like, makes me feel like a little bit of resistance around it. Resistance uh, with uh, progress moving forward. It's kind of like some of you might feel like you're kind of stuck in limbo or stuck right now. Some of you could be kind of like tied into a lease or even in a situation right now that you're maybe even trying to get out of like uh, it almost makes me kind of feel like some of you that like let's just say you live with family or you're wanting to kind of make a big change for yourself and get out of maybe like say like a job or a relationship and you're just like wanting to move you're wanting to go but it's almost like not knowing where how it's going to happen some of you it is because of work like you're trying to figure out a place like you're like, am I going to have to quit my job? Am I going to have to find a new job? Am I going to have to change jobs? And some of you, I feel like, worried about that. Worried about even maybe the cost of living. It's putting, like, a lot of stress on you. Thinking about it. Let's see here. I'm noticing that in her baskets here, on one of her baskets, she has her son. And in the other basket, she has a bunch of wands. Which to me is kind of like maybe you guys are thinking about your priorities right now. Like trying to figure it out. Maybe even something that's going to make it easier for you with family. Especially for some of you that are like single parents. Single parents. Or you are someone who's supporting like yourself. Like you're just by yourself. Mm, okay, let's see what else. Where is pile number three going to live next? Some of you have been like really, really working and working and working to try to like maybe even like make ends meet right now. So some of you can be feeling overwhelmed with like bills and maybe thinking of moving to a place that allows you to live more freely, like more money with you paying like less rent. It's like trying to juggle everything, juggle all the bills and everything or even your responsibilities. Some of you might have like a lot of responsibilities uh, for some of you, it can even be like taking care of parents, like taking care of your parents or children, like even your own needs. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, and again, she just kind of looks like she's just taking some time to think, and the owl's like, are we there yet? Did you get it yet? <laughs> Did you get the idea yet? Where are we going? Pile number three, where will you live next? I'm also noticing this owl is looking down. This makes me feel like some of you, I don't know if this is you're currently living south or if you're thinking about going or headed south. Maybe for some of you. This 
some of you, it's there's a thought about going east or headed east, maybe southeast. Let's see. Pile number three. Where will you live next? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this, this almost makes me feel like you guys are like really, really taking your time. Taking your time. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow and steady. Thinking very uh, methodically about where you're going, how you're going to get there. Like trying to be very practical with how you plan things out. Having many feel like visions, ideas, and trying to be clear about it, but maybe feeling overwhelmed in doing so. Where will pile number three live next? Two of Swords. This is Spirit saying here you feel a little bit stuck, a little bit confused, maybe even torn in different directions. Where will pile number three live next? We have strength, strength. I am feeling like this move is something that is going to require, yeah, some of you are worried about money, uh, trying to be a place that is cheaper, cost of living is something that's uh, more affordable for you. Some of you can kind of even be feeling kind of like in that energy of despair, of not knowing how I'm going to make ends meet, or I don't have enough money to afford to say even live on my own or to support myself. Um, and I'm feeling like these next changes for you as far as where you're moving require a lot of your personal strength and willpower and commitment that you make to yourself of being courageous enough to make the changes that are necessary for you to achieve the outcome that you want. But yeah, with the five of pentacles, this is a, you know, can be a poverty card. Um, so finances could be a, a real thing here for some of you worried about finances, um, feeling like you need help or you might need to ask someone for help, uh, with the move or even, yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit like the energy of despair, like wanting this so bad, but also really, really worried about, about money, okay? So maybe you're trying to find something, like trying to find a job, like worried about like if you move to another place, like it's not going to make as much money as the place that you're working for right now, or uh, even something to that effect. So let's see what else where and i feel like maybe even with the five of pentacles this could literally be saying that you're going to be moving to an area that is let's just say less pricey less expensive okay than where you might be right now because some of you might have like a whole lot on your plate you know a whole lot on your plate working hard and feeling like you're just not getting ahead you know so this move is an important one because it means whether or not you are going to uh, you know, have the success and the abundance that you want. And so there's the need for kind of like freeing up cash. Okay. Freeing up money. Um, let's see here. We have the three of wands, which is, uh, this could be like waiting anticipation. Some of you are like anticipating this move, waiting for it, waiting for something to come together, something to come through. Some of you, I feel like you're you're wanting to live in this place that is um, very, maybe like finding peace, like tranquility. Uh, let's see what else. Pile number three, where will you live next? We have the action of cups, which is the knight of cups. Some of you, this may even be close to water. I'm noticing how there's a boat here that's in the middle of the water. Here we've got a bunch of mountains, mountains, but there's also water back there too, ocean or lake or river. You have the king of wands and this looks like buildings. So maybe some of you can be going to like an apartment, a condo. Um, 
Some of you might be wanting or living maybe in wanting like a fancy place, like a fancier house. Something that makes you... I'm feeling like you want it beautiful. <laughs> you want it beautiful. That's like an important thing. Maybe it's the building or maybe your furnishings or something that show a lot of your expensive taste for some of you. Um, you like things beautiful. You like things neat. You like things clean for some of you. Just really like the presence, the the presentation of it is, is something that is very, some of you very, um, what is that called? Minimalist. Some of you it's minimalist. Um, but luxurious, I'm getting. Luxurious, beautiful, the way you decorate. Uh, yeah, but some of you I'm getting, it could be like a an apartment, a condo, a townhome that you're going to be living in next. I'm seeing a beautiful little, pay, uh, um, what is this called? A brick road? Pavers? Pay, like a little paved walkway? So this feels a little fancy. For some of you, um, when it may be pricey, right? Living in a in a beautiful place like this, wherever this building buildings are, you know. But I feel like it could be that it shows a lot of your status. Maybe the status of where you live is something that's very important to you. Like you want to live in a nice place, you know. Because here she looks like she's working super hard. You know, she's wearing her comfortable clothes, comfy clothes. And then here with the Queen of Swords, she is fancy. She's got a crown on. They both have crowns. You know, her clothes look very beautiful. Her furniture behind her. She's got a tufted velvet chair. And he is fancy with his suit and his shirt. So it's like, you know, it's like there's a lot of maybe the furnishings that you have are something that are really beautiful. Um, I'm seeing here in this, we've got like a stained glass window. So maybe even a building that has like beautiful architecture, but this kind of feels like an apartment, a condo, a townhome, a flat. Um, let's see here. Where will pile, we've got the sun. So maybe this is a place that has maybe a lot of sunshine. Something that has maybe even a lot of uh, flowers, maybe views, mountain views or ocean views close to maybe even a mountain. Maybe it's a place that you do have views. So some of you, because of the way this three of wands kind of looks like he's looking over something, maybe for some of you, like if you live like on the top floor or something, you have a beautiful view. Could be something there. Let's see. What's at the bottom? We've got the four of pentacles. Yeah, so I'm getting that because we have both the four and the five of pentacles here. And so this makes me feel like there's like the budget. The budget is tight or you're wanting, maybe it's like you're wanting bougie on a budget. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Bougie on a budget. Um, what? Yeah. We want fancy, but we want it less expensive. We want it to be beautiful, but less expensive. Um, like you want to be, you're being surrounded in a place that is beautiful, right? And it may require you to be a little bit more tight with finances or it may require you to really save, save money. Or it may be because it's a really super fancy place that it makes you have to work harder and leaves you with very little money to play around with. So take that how it resonates. It's either that you could be looking for a cheaper place or that you your the next place you're going to live in could be something that is fancy. It could be more expensive. More expensive. It could be that you're currently saving right now for it. I mean, there's stability here with the Four of Pentacles. But I feel like there's a, definitely a fear of loss here, you know, a fear of not having enough money or can I afford it? But I'm feeling that, like I said, with the strength card here, there's a need for you to be 
strong and know that there will be opportunities for you. Right now, the three of wands, this is about you kind of basically like taking the first step with this plan because I feel like with the Knight of Cups, some of you might even meet a new romantic partner uh, in this place. I'm getting fire sign energy too. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Leo, we've got Leo's, Leo energy here. And that may mean for you to really have a more confidence or courage in yourself to, and, and I feel like put forth the energy towards this move. Because like I said, I feel like it may be that with the, the number 12 here is kind of like the hangman. It may be that and you need to change or shift your perspective a little bit. Like, let's just say if you're really wanting like super, super fancy and nice that you can still have nice, but maybe it doesn't have to cost as much, right? So that may require you to do a little bit more research, you know, of finding a place that still looks beautiful here, but costs less money. Right. So that you're not having to work so hard. And that may be what you're trying to do. It could be that your next place that you live in looks beautiful, costs less money. So you don't have to work so hard. You know, you don't have to just keep just just grinding and grinding. I feel like with trying to make ends meet here. Uh, what else? I'm getting because the Knight of Cups energy could be very uh Romantic. So maybe even the area that you live in is something that has a lot of beauty to it, a lot of charm, a lot of character. I'm feeling because I'm noticing you have a sun here and a sun there, even though that's an eyeball. Maybe it is a little bit of a warmer area, warmer climate. I'm also noticing that in this King of Wands that the, the sky looks a little bit cloudy and gray here. And then I'm seeing the clouds back here too. So maybe for some of you, it is a place that has a lot of overcast cloudiness. But also I'm getting the sun energy here. Okay. So let's see where... Will pile number three be moving next? Where will pile number three be moving next? Yeah, I'm feeling like it's like a big solid structure building for some of you. Where will pile number three be living next? Where will they live next? We have love. Number 12 again. Hmm. Maybe that is significant for some of you. Maybe this could be, I don't know, that could be December. December for some of you, or maybe the number 12, maybe on the 12th or the 12th day. Let's see. Maybe even 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, or the month of December. Where will pile number three live next? Maybe where you meet someone or living with a loved one, right? Moving in with a loved one. We have chamomile here, inner peace. So some of you, maybe it's even a place that has nature that's close by animals, maybe a, a forest or something close for some of you. Best of both words. We have destiny here. Okay. So maybe for some of you, this next place you're living maybe is the place that you're meant to be, you know, like around that area. It's like your soul is kind of leading you to where you're meant to be right now with this next place is the place you know how sometimes you plan moves and it's like, it's not it. It's not like the, your place. Like you're moving there, but it could be temporary. You're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm just, I'll live here for a year or two. And then I'm going to move somewhere else. This to me with destiny here is like this next move is you aligning to where you're meant to be. You know, especially if you've been moving and moving and moving or planning and just kind of like, like it's like, Maybe for some of you, it's like, that's it. Like that, this is the move, right? And especially if you meet a love interest here or you're moving in with a love, 
that it is something some of you it could even be that you are doing things by yourself like you're living you've been working living by yourself paying bills by yourself working hard and you could be uh, deciding you're going to move in with someone to maybe help to um, help the expenses as well for some of you but yeah, we've got destiny here. So it makes me feel like you're being led to where you're supposed to be. You know, the place where you're supposed to be. Who you're with, supposed to be with. Where you're supposed to be. Pile number three. Where will you live next? We have fear. Fear. I'm seeing, look at that. There is a bunch of buildings back here. Buildings everywhere. But I'm also noticing some of you might move to a place that you can have like your own garden. Like your own garden, grow your own fruits and vegetables. Let's see here. I'm feeling like it is city. Some of you, like in a city. Um, but like I said, maybe nature is something that's close by. We have scavenge here. Yeah, I'm telling you, this makes me feel like it's a place where, I don't know, maybe it means that this, that uh, finding a rental or finding a place in this area is not easy to find. Like you're trying to find like the right place. Hmm. scavenging and then we have exposed some of you I'm feeling like there's a need for you to allow yourself to be vulnerable I don't know who that message is for there's a need for you to open up to love because I'm also feeling like this is tied into your love life for some of you. And there's a need for you to just open up to love. Because this, this is kind of like trying to put things together for you the way that they're meant to be. And there's a need for you to be courageous and strong and confident and listening to your intuition. This fear... You know, some of you, I'm feeling like you push people away. Some of you, like you're pushing love away or you're like, I want to do it myself. I need to, you know what I'm saying? Like there's like, um, some of you are putting like a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on yourself. Trying to get things done, trying to stay on top of things. But yeah, I'm feeling many of you, this is living in a place. Some of you are moving with your love interest. Moving with your love interest. Or meeting someone, meeting a love interest. I'm seeing bond underneath the deck too. So yeah, you could be moving in with a romantic partner. Um, meeting a romantic partner. Because we have love here, bond. Okay, let's see. Where will you live next? Some of you, I actually feel like you could even be on the opposite end of that, where you're trying to move out of a situation and you're trying to go by your, you be by yourself. I'm getting that as well. We have she who loved once, fragile, secret love, and rejection. What did I say, you guys? Some of you are, there's love that's coming in or has come in. And almost like you're pushing it away. You're sabotaging. Self-sabotaging for some of you. Where will you live next? We have curiosity, experience, play, uncover, and ask. Yeah, maybe this is a, a place that allows you more breathing room, more comfort, more, less stress. Um, 
I'm feeling because I'm noticing here there's a bunch of bars. Maybe for some of you right now, you feel like, I don't know, maybe it's like a gated community for some of you. A gated community or even maybe you're in a place right now that kind of makes you feel a little bit trapped or in. Maybe even because of money. And this is going to be you stepping outside of that fear. Really looking for something. I feel like some of you might even have like a very, um, not that this is a bad thing because this is how I am too. But being picky, being selective about where you're moving to. It's like, you know what you want, I want what I want, and I'm not going to settle for less than that. So some of you might be looking like at this place, nope, that place, nope, this place, nope. It's just like, just being very selective, <laughs> very selective. Okay, let's see, pile number, but I feel it's going to be beautiful, pile three, it'll be beautiful either way. Okay, so we have the mystery. Wow. I'm feeling like some of this information we're getting is kind of cryptic. It kind of makes me feel like you're being led towards your destiny, but like you have to also follow your heart. I feel like your path is something that spirit is kind of wanting you to uncover also on your own. Like you can't know all the answers. You have to allow your heart to lead you. You know what I'm saying? You have to open up. You have to follow your heart in a sense and allow yourself to be open and receptive to the universe giving to you. Let's see. Where is pal three going to live next? Whoa, that was a lot. We have the frog. It says cleaning house, releasing, and also emotional baggage. Cleaning house. Cleaning house. That maybe this is you needing to get rid of some stuff for some of you. Maybe this next place where you live is, is what allows you to purge. Maybe energetically speaking. You're purging. You're releasing things. Selling stuff. Getting rid of stuff. This is a lot. Do I want to take these? I guess so. We've got a risk. And maybe this is spirit saying it requires you to take a risk. Remember how I was saying it? it requires your confidence to do this. Because we have this path here and it's kind of in three different directions. We have knowledge and healing. And then we also have nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this is you needing to trust your heart, needing to trust your intuition with where this place is. Um, let's see what else. We have the queen, woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, and also friendship. So maybe it's a place that you can meet new friends. Um... Maybe in a place it's kind of like it makes you feel like you're living like a queen. In a sense, like you have what you need. Needs are being met. You feel maybe you're living in a very luxurious place, right? Something that reflects a lot of who you are. Like I said, bougie on a budget for some of you. A fancy place. Um, abundance here we've got. It's a risk. You know, but there's a need because some of you may be feeling drawn in different directions. And I feel like it's important for you to truly listen to your intuition. We have great teacher here and it says learn from spiritual experiences. So I'm already feeling like spirit is already giving you the messages of where you're meant to go because it's ultimately leading you towards your destiny. And I feel like some of you might be like doubting yourself, doubting the guidance that you're getting because you could be worried about money. Like you can have this idea and say, oh, you know what? I really want to move there, but... I can't, I can't do it. You know, it's just not going to happen for me. And I feel like, you know, focusing on maybe letting go of those self-limiting beliefs, but also with the great teacher here, learn from spiritual experiences. To me, this is also about you learning from your past, right? Your decisions in your past, where have they led you? And if it's not in a good such, it's not in such a good place, you know, what can we learn from that? Can we learn to say, Dang it, I should have trusted my intuition, right? 
you have a choice and you're like, my gut feeling tells me to go this way, but nope, I'm going to go over here. And then it ends up being the wrong move, right? So learn from those, I feel like spirit's saying here. The exposed here too kind of makes me like, are you in a place that's like out in the, out in the open? Like, are you, I don't know, maybe it's like it has a lot of windows or it's uh, something that shows like, I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a, a beautiful building in the middle of a place you wouldn't expect it to be in or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.